This is the Schmo with the Pro. He's 3 0 in the UFC. Andre Petrowski, UFC middleweight. Inside your hotel room, you're on the bed. The Schmo's on the chair. How we doing? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. You know a little something or two about staying inside of a bedroom with a lot of men. You're an alumni of the Ultimate Fighter. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you know. prepared me for this moment. The schmoment. Yeah. Never too big, never too small. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, and I'll talk to the schmo for a second, man. The schmo's been scouring all over the news. There's no fight yet booked for you, man. When do you want to return, and what are we targeting date-wise? Um... If, if I could get something soon, that would be good. Otherwise, uh, between me and my manager, we want to fight on the East Coast, and Madison Square Garden's the next – is looking like that would be the next event. So they either said it would either be the first or the second week in November. Certainly. So maybe it is a fight night, but maybe it's Madison Square Garden. Yeah. That's what we want. Maybe you can call your shots when you're 3-0 in the UFC. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Anyone that you want? Because how soon are we going to get a number next to your name? Yeah, um, I definitely want to fight someone uh, ranked above me, someone in that uh, you know 25 to 15 range. Um, I would love to fight Mir Shart again. I know he is fighting Bruno Silva uh, pretty soon, so that timeline would work out. Um, I like that Brendan Allen Malcoon fight. I, I was watching those guys. I, I really, a bunch of guys in that range of fifteen to thirty. A lot of noise has been made about a lack of wrestlers in the middleweight division. One guy in particular that told the schmo this is a famous Penn State wrestler, Bo Nickel. He says that the guys in the middleweight division don't even have ten percent of his wrestling skills. As a middleweight with a wrestling background, how does it make you feel? So, I mean, I personally and and Jonathan may test this. I've we've tried to get Bo Nickel for Fury for grappling multiple times. I've tried to grapple the kid. And he just keeps saying no. He wants astronomical amounts of money. So, I mean, to me, it's kind of tacky that you would talk all that shit, but you keep turning down matches. You know what I mean? And like, and like, I understand he's a one to no pro. Like, I'm not expecting him to fight me. You know what I mean? But like, I'm giving you an opportunity to show your grappling and against. In my defense, like, you know, I've proven myself. You know what I mean? So like, I'm giving him an opportunity, and he keeps denying it, and then he's gonna keep talking shit. It's like, I don't know, whatever. Well, obviously we're in town for Dana White's Contender Series. That guy's going to be on Contender Series a few weeks from now. Maybe it's an opponent for you in the future. Maybe a couple months, a couple years down the line. For sure, yeah. And then we'll test the wrestling. So you, obviously yeah, we don't agree with that comment. We do not. We do not agree. <laughs> when you look at what's going on in the middleweight division, what do you like? What do you like up there at the top? Stylebender, Israel Adesanya, no one's been able to beat this guy. He's closing in on an Anderson Silva in terms of the conversation for greatest middleweight of all time. What do you see that as? I mean, I wouldn't say no one's been able to beat him. I watched someone beat him, and uh, the way that they beat him was with wrestling. And I think that that obviously, like you said before, like that's something that's lacking in the top of the division. So he'll eventually be dethroned? I think so. Can we get a final message for all the Andre Petrowski fans out there worldwide? Just tune in. We got big things coming, for sure. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. He's ready to take the schmo's head off. We're out.